Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Chris Cograve. And Software Defined Data Center is something that I've been hearing about throughout the show. What exactly is that? It's all about virtualizing the infrastructure resources, the network, the server, the storage uh, resources, uh, and then offering them as a service and automating uh, the control of those in, in terms of the overall data center uh, uh, there. It, simply put, it's about abstracting all the complexity from the network server storage components up to a centralized control level so that you can have a single point of access, uh, reducing the amount of time that it takes you to make changes. That's what it's about. So really it's all about simplifying, uh, simplifying the data center, if you will. Yeah, it, it is. It's all about agility. Uh, it's all about removing the manual content. If you look at the pure amount of work that's needed to go in and make changes to switches, uh, the server and storage, etc., that takes up a significant amount of time and takes up a significant amount of the IT budget. So this really improves the response time and also reduces costs significantly. Would it also be fair to say that it might uh, reduce some of the, the human error factor? Yeah, definitely. I, I think that's a, a key element there. I, I, I think, you know, from, from my perspective, uh, there's a lot of hype around software-defined data center uh, uh, at, the, at the moment. And I think, you know, there's a feeling that organizations will move everything to a software-defined approach where you've got everything working at a, a single control level. I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think organizations will move what is sensible to that you know, centralized control level, uh, but there will be other elements of the hardware, the uh, uh, network server storage, which will make sense to leave as they are. So I think we'll have a mixed model there, a bimodal model of IT. So why would someone want to go with, say, a software-defined data center versus going with like a, a purely cloud model? I think that's, uh, that, that, that's a very good question. Uh, it's all about the control, getting gaining control of IT, and uh, I, I define three levels of control of IT, depending on whether you're the IT admin, whether you're the application uh, uh, team, or whether you're the actual business users. Uh, I think uh, there's a need to, to converge the infrastructure so that you can manage more effectively those resources and simplify it from the perspective of the uh, IT admin. There's a need to software divine uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the infrastructure resources there in order to get a better linkage with the applications. And then finally, there's a need to cloud enable, in other words, to determine how the IT services are delivered from a perspective of a business user. Uh, each of those three areas of control contribute different benefits to the business and if you're on a journey to align business and IT then you can accelerate that journey by using one of the any of those control domains there and I think each one of them links together and I, I, I think that you know each one of them contributes different business value to the overall IT organization. Could you break down what the business value is in those three areas? Yeah, uh, I, I think it's all about, if you start off with converged infrastructure, it's about simplification, uh, it's about uh, uh, reducing costs. If you move up to the software defined layer, it's very much you know, about the agility, it's very much about aligning the application with the IT infrastructure so that instead of the infrastructure dictating to the applications, the applications uh, will be able to uh, uh, receive exactly what resources they need from the IT infrastructure. Cloud uh, is really about again reducing costs, improving uh, agility by moving the workloads to the best place to which you know they can be provided whether it's outside to public cloud, whether it's internally to private cloud or traditional uh, IT. So it's all about cost reduction, it's about being able to deliver new services more rapidly, it's about agility and it's also about availability.